Hello, this is the uh, quick tutorial on uh, general use of the Steca uh, 0301 control. It can also be a Sun Earth um, and other Solene, Solahot, Fafco. There's a lot of uh, labels on the controls, but they're all the same. They're all digital in this style. You can see from the screen it's running right now. We have a temperature on the roof of 111. It's dropping because it's not heated. To, in order to change that view of the temperatures, you just push the down button. The second uh, icon comes up. It's uh, T3. That's the temperature at the top of the tank. I can change that by heating that sensor. Some controls, some systems have that sensor installed, some do not. We recommend it. Um, then you just keep pushing the down button. You get 75, that's at the bottom of the tank. So you have three options to, uh, three positions to measure from. And again, just press the down arrow. One, roof, top of tank, if it's there, or bottom of tank. So it's T1, T3, T2. And you can do that with the up arrow too. Nothing, nothing will happen to the control when you do this. It's just monitoring. It gives you the position, selects the icon, and tells you the temperature. So now we're going to, um, and when it's running, you'll see the little diagram, uh, animated diagram running, and you'll see the sun out on the upper left. So now we're going to work with the simple menu. To set the simple menu, you just press and hold the press and hold the middle button until the menu comes up on the right, and that's what you'll see. The default for the for that temperature there will be 140. What that represents is the high limit for the tank. It says max tank. So to set to to scroll through this menu, just we open the menu and we'll just scroll through it right now. We we'll use the lower arrow. That's ten Celsius or Fahrenheit. You can change that. That's a T. That's a position for a sensor. That's for evacuated tubes. That's in our manual on what, when to use that. That's a vacation mode. The umbrella. And then the snowflake is a recirculation mode that some people use in certain parts of the country. And then again, pushing. I'm just pushing the lower arrow, down arrow, lower arrow down. And now we're back to the original screen that you should always see um, in the controller. Now, when you look at the controller, you could have that icon positioned. Again, I'm using the lower, the down button. You could have it set for the middle of the tank. You can have it set for the bottom of the tank. Or you can have it set for the roof. Whatever you prefer. It'll stay where you leave it. So if you leave it at the middle, then when the tank heats up, the middle of the tank might read over 100 or 120 or even higher. And then you can come by and say, oh, I have hot water. Um, you can leave it at the bottom. If the bottom is all hot, is hot, you'll ha you have a full tank of hot water when that condition is occurs. So that would be like 120 degrees. So now we're going to go back again. The, the down button, lower arrow, you just push the key and it just scrolls through. It also scrolls through on the top. It just goes in reverse. So now we're going to go back to setting uh, using the set menu. So you remember we just, again, I'm pushing the center button, holding it until the main menu comes up. The, the n current number is 150. The default you, that you receive it at is 140. To set that, if we want to set it up or down, press and hold the set button until the number flashes, the temperature. There it's flashing 150. So now we use the down arrow. And we go down. Just push it, push. Until we get to 140. I'll leave it at the default now. 140, and then it's still flashing. Press the set button, it should stop the flashing. There. Your max tank now is set at 140, and you can see in the tank. The T2 icon says max. That means when the tank get at the lower, at the T2 position gets to 140, the solar stops heating. So now we want to go to the second 
a setting, which is Celsius Fahrenheit, we just use the, the down arrow, push it, and you can see that Fahrenheit comes up. It's flashing. Um, and in the little box below max, you can see a C and a slash F. So to change that to Celsius, if you like Celsius, just put push, press and hold the set button until C appears, you're done. That's all you have to do with this. Then you want to set it back, press and hold until sometimes somebody pushes the wrong button and you get the numbers wrong and they're reading Celsius instead of Fahrenheit. So this is Fahrenheit now. Now you want to go to the next option, which just push the down arrow. It's the evacuated tube function. In most cases, you want that icon, the T1 that's blinking up there, to stay at the top. Um, if you do have evacuated tubes, re refer to your design or installer or owner's manual on, and the owner's manual for this controller on posi po positioning that to the uh, evacuated tube position. Uh, again, the way you do it is it's opened and I believe no, you don't. Okay, let me go back. I'll go back. I'll just use the up button. You press and hold the set button. That should drop that icon. There. It's, that's it. it's dropped. So that's the evacuated tube position. You just leave it there. If you have evacuated tubes and that's what you want, read the directions again in the manual on how that's operating. We're going to go back, press the set button for this, goes back to the top. I'm going to scroll to the next program using the down arrow. And now we see the umbrella uh, flashing in the, in the little box on the right. That's the vacation mode. Um, please read the manual on when that should be activated. To activate it, just we're going to press and hold the set button in the middle until you see a little check mark to the right of the umbrella. There. <coughs> the check mark is present. The holiday function is now active. Now we're going to go we're going to go to freeze protection. We're going to drop down. One more with the lower arrow to the snowflake. It's flashing. When it's flashing, you can change the function from on or off or Celsius to Fahrenheit or change the max tank temperatures when things are flashing. So, but in this case, we just have to hold the set button there. We have a check mark. So now the freeze recirculation function is set. Again, please consult your design manual, the control manual, and uh, installer if necessary for the proper activation of that function. Now we're going to, now that we have that activated, we're just going, we're going to get out of this menu. We just push the down arrow. We're at the end. It returns us to the original screen that you saw. The collector temperature has dropped to 76. The pump's no longer running. The diagram stopped. The sun's not shining in the upper left. And you have two icons additional icons in the screen. You have an umbrella and a snowflake. That indicates to you that the holiday function and the recirculation function are active. So now you want, uh, what I'll do is I'll heat the, uh, just so you know, I'll, I'm, I'm heating the sensor, the, the roof sensor manually with, there. That's what happens when the sun comes out and heats the panel, everything starts, the roof heats up, starts your circulation pump to heat the tank. So that'll occur until the temperature on the roof drops and the and T2 rises and they come within the program differential in the control and then it stops. Like at night, it'll turn off. So now we're going to go back into the menu, into the standard set menu and take out those. We're going to deactivate the holiday function and the freeze function. So press and hold the set button. You can do this anytime. You see the uh, max tank is 140. We're going to scroll using the down arrow. One, two, three to the holiday function. Umbrella is flashing. Press and hold set until the check mark is gone. Gone. 
and I'll scroll, use the lower, the down arrow to go to the snowflake, it's flashing. Press and hold the set button. The check mark's gone. Press the down arrow and your standard screenshot is there, screen view on the LCD, and the two icons are no longer in the screen, indicating that the holiday function and the research freeze function have been deactivated. So that's the simple menu that is available with the controller. The monitoring again of temperatures is just press the down arrow. That's the top of the tank or wherever T3 sensor is located, hopefully at the top. And then that's the bottom, sensor T2. So the controller operates, the actual functionality is the control is comparing T1, 90, 89 right now, to T2, 77. Now when those come, I will heat up, just to show you, I'm going to heat up T2. You'll see the temperature rot. That's the wrong one, sorry. T2. I'm heating the storage tank manually. Turns off. So, essentially, if we go back to T1, the roof, it's 87, like evening. It's cooled off and the tank is heated up at the end of the day. This is what you might see when you come home from work or in the evening. And then the tank T2, usually you also see in this case, just so we're kind of trying to be, mimic what's happening in the real world. I'm gonna to go to there, go to T3. If you have T3, if T2 is hot, T3 should be hot also and you're seeing it's hot. And that's what you would see at the end of the day of a property, properly functioning system. You would see, you come home, let's say it's dark, depending on the temperature outside, uh, T, the roof would be cooler, it's usually about ambient, whatever that is. If it's 70 or 60 or 50, the top of the tank is usually higher at the end of the day. It's dropping now because we're not heating it, and it's not insulated. And then the bottom of the tank cools off faster because when, when you open your hot water fixtures and use hot water, the cold water enters, is entering at the bottom of the tank and cooling that water down and literally pushing the hot water out of the tank from bottom up and you're getting that hot water out of the top of the tank to directly to your faucets or to a, to a primary water heater or tankless water heater. So hopefully that helps. Um, the control manual for this is on sunearthinc.com website. There's also a, another video on that website on the TR0301 control. Thank you.